Hello everybody, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. Today's video is going to be yoga for grief and yoga for heartbreak. It is not easy to go through a loss. We tend to grieve things, um, especially when we lose a person. Not only are we grieving the loss of that person, but we're also grieving the loss of the future that we may have planned with that person and the life that we thought we had. So it can be complicated and there can be lots of layers. And so today's practice um, is really just for you. It's for you to take some time to kind of feel out some emotions. Um, you know, if you're showing up here with tears in your eyes or you're angry or you're confused or you're in denial or you're, you know, just going through whatever you're going through right now, um, just know that you are held. We are all here supporting you. Um, you're not alone in your, your suffering or your pain. Um, we're here to help and to hold some of it for you. So I hope this practice helps. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get started. So we're actually gonna start in a seat today. Um, if sitting up is just not something you can do right now, you can also take a child's pose and, and curl in. But if you can, just sit up nice and tall, nice comfortable seat. We can place our hands face down on our knees. And we're just going to start by connecting to our breath. So close your eyes here or bring your gaze down to a soft spot where you can kind of come out of focus. We're going to take a deep breath in through our nose. Exhale, open your mouth side out. Another deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, open your mouth, let it go. Feeling your shoulders kind of relax a bit there. Another deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, side out through the mouth. Bringing our awareness to our breath, letting it come in and out through our nose. Focusing on what we can control here in the situation, which is ourselves, our breath, where we choose to put our thoughts, how we choose to think about ourselves and our actions. Control our suffering, right? Not our wishes, not our wants, but what we do and what we think. Bring your right hand to your left knee. Let your left hand come behind you. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, just look over your shoulder. If you're in child's pose, you can walk your hands to the left side of the mat. A little twist here to rinse out anything that you may be holding on to in the neck or abdomen. Awesome, and then we'll bring our left hand to our right knee, right arm comes behind us. Sit up nice and tall, breathe in, and exhale, twist. Looking over our right shoulder. Deep breaths here. Center. Come into a tabletop position on your mat so our knees are under our hips and our shoulders are over our wrists. And just kind of find your grounding here. You kind of make some circles in one direction and then the other. You might kind of get out any tension in your wrist. Make sure you're grounding down to the knuckle parts of your fingers though. 
And then when you're ready at your own time, just come through some cat cow. So inhale, dropping the belly, looking up. And then exhale, curl the spine, round in. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, curl the spine, round in. Moving at your own pace with your own breath. Go through one more cycle here. Awesome, and then we'll come back to a neutral spine. Um, bring your right foot up to meet your right palm. So coming into a low lunge here, knee is over ankle. You can untuck the back toes if you want or leave them tucked if that's more stable for you. Um, and then just bring your hands on the inside of that right foot. You can even walk it out a little bit if you want and just start to kind of make some circles here in your hips. So moving in one direction and then the other. Our hips energetically hold so much emotion and feelings in our body. So just kind of taking a moment here to feel it out. If anything comes up for you, just acknowledging it, not judging it, giving it the space it needs to be. And then we're going to find some stillness here. Um, you might be comfortable here, or if you want to, you can come into lizard pose. So you can bring one forearm down and then the other. If you have a block, you can even rest your forearms on a block. We won't be here for long, just about three big conscious breaths, so really make the most of it. Awesome. And on our next inhale, we'll slowly come back up. Bring our right knee back underneath our hip, you know, and then just see how that feels here. Maybe you kind of tuck the toes under and you rock on that right foot back and forth. Maybe you come back and do a little cat cow, just a reset here. And then when you're ready, you can bring that left foot up, plant it underneath your left knee, coming into low lunge, just feeling this out, and then bring the left hand on the inside of the left foot, you might walk that left foot out a little bit, and coming into our lizard on the other side here, um, our bodies are different on each side, so one thing on one side might feel different than another, um, holding space for whatever your experience is here, you can make some circles one direction or the other, just getting into that hip. And then when you're ready, coming down onto your forearms, and being conscious for the next three breaths here. And I can already tell this side for me just holds so much more. So, you know, just being super present, using the tools I have, focusing on what I can control and just being here in it. Last breath here. Awesome, on our inhale, come back up, bring that left knee back and again you might curl those left toes under and just kind of rock on that left leg awesome and then we're gonna bring our knees nice and wide here sink your hips back and we get to walk your hands forward coming up onto the fingertips here so 
an active wide leg child's pose just for a breath breathe in and then exhale release your chest head neck down to the mat letting your forehead rest on the mat here you can even massage so turning your head left to right massage your forehead on the mat activating our third eye tuning into our intuition we know what's best for us we know what's right for us so tapping into that internal guidance Releasing any tension that might be holding in the brow. And then returning to that breath. Three more breaths here. Surrendering to ourselves, to our situation. Choosing kindness and compassion. Your next inhale, slowly bring yourself back up coming to our knees so kneeling if that's comfortable for you if not you can always find whatever seat works bringing one hand to our heart and the other hand over top take a deep breath in through your nose exhale side out your mouth I'm going to leave you with a couple mantras here to repeat to yourself. The first one being, I surrender to the things that I cannot control. I surrender to the things that I cannot control. And the second one being, everything is exactly as it should be. Everything is exactly as it should be. Those might resonate for you, they might not. You might be angry listening to those and that's okay. Um, you do whatever you need to do to process your grief. You can come back to this video as many times as you need. Sending you so, 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 so much love. Bring your hands up to the third eye. And bow and say namaste.